things, right? All right, I go in there, the doctor looks at my wife, he says, hey, look, she's not dilated, this baby ain't coming anytime soon. Go home, we're gonna schedule an induction, we're gonna bring you in, we're gonna deliver that baby next week. I said, thank you, sir, but I have another one. I walked out, all right? Walked out, I get a call on the way home, it's a buddy of mine, he says, hey, man, I got Raven Steelers tickets for tomorrow night. Okay? Doesn't matter where you're from, you know the Raven Steelers ride. Were any Steelers fans here, PA? Yeah. You can suck the fattest part of my time, alright? Okay? Alright. Suck! Suck! Alright? So I'm going home, the guy says I have Raven Steelers tickets for tomorrow night. I look at my wife and I say, Can I go? And she, what? No, what? No, no. She's a beautiful, wonderful woman. I like to suck, man. And she, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right? And she goes, listen, I have one condition. I said, you can name it, baby, anything. Anything I do, son, name it. She says, don't drink. So I said something along the line. Why would I drink? I don't know why I drink. Most times I don't drink. I drink. Different experience. Now if I go in and be like, okay, I'll sit down while I'll be sober. I'll be just drinking. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, I will not drink, okay? Fast forward. Next night, go to the game, and I immediately start drinking. <laughs> this baby ain't coming anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? This next fucking week, Catherine, I'm getting my goddamn buzz on. All right? Fast forward. Fourth quarter. Goes something like this. Defense. Defense. Text message. I reach into my pocket, I pull out my phone, I get a text, and here's what it says. It says, hey, going into contractions. Think I'm going into early labor. So I text her back like any good husband would, and I say, should I leave? She says, uh, yeah, fly home, game time, water breaks, we go to the hospital. This baby is coming tonight, all right? So she's in the fucking room, I'm in the room, and she starts to breathe. She's fucking going into contraction. So she's breathing, I'm breathing, we're looking at each other, she's going like this. The box says, talk to breathe with her, looking right back in her eyes, and I go. And she looks at me with all the love in her eyes, I'll never forget what she said to me, it was one of those beautiful movie moments, and she goes, stop mocking me. <laughs> On one hand, I was glad she didn't smell the liquor on my breath, right? Okay? On the other hand, Dorothy Toto, the whole fucking house was out the window. I was not in Kansas anymore. Catherine, this woman looked me in my eyes before we went to the hospital. She said, I don't think I want the drugs. I think I just want to do like a natural birth. It's like a once in a lifetime experience. And I want to do it. Be with my baby. We're going to really enjoy it. It'll be great. We're not five minutes down the rabbit hole. My wife calmly turns and looks at me and says something along the lines of, Drugs! Say, can we get that nurse in here? Okay, nurse comes in. Her name is Betty. She's great. She comes in. She's like, hey, sweetheart. How you doing? Can't get you another pillow? Can't get you some jello? Can't get you something to drink? You okay? She's like, no. Fuck the drugs. Just give me the drugs. Do this. So the nurse pulls me over here. I'm down here. She goes, hey, Chad, listen. The anesthesiologist is on the other side of the hospital. And she's not going to be here for about 45 minutes. And I looked her square in the eyes and I said, fuck you, Betty. <laughs> Anesthesiologist gets it, right? <laughs> Kicks in the door, he's dressed in street clothes. He's dressed like I am right now without his gay soccer boots. Alright? He comes in, he's like, Dad, I'm the Jew over here. You over here. I'm like, I'm over here, Alan. Alright, he goes, here, listen, Dad, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna bring a big ass needle out, I'm gonna wrap it in your woman's back. Alright, a lot of guys, a lot of dads and feet that can't handle it, they pass out, and they bump into my shit. So I'm gonna need you over here. I said, I'm over here, Alan. Alright? Okay. So he brings this thing out. This thing is like a Civil War sword. Okay? Six feet away, it's like a rapier. Okay? Or is it Colton Pittsburgh a Roethlisberger? Nothing, nothing. Gonna be like a little beef stick. Alright, just like a little beef stick. Here it comes. Boom. Boom. My wife comes and looks at me and goes, ah! And Alan, this sado motherfucker, you know what he does? He turns back to me and he goes like me. He goes, Well, 
maybe like a little horny. <laughs> And that was the night my daughter was born. I'll tell you one last fact. That baby cut the umbilical cord? Gross, dude. Like the biggest piece of calamari I have ever met in here. And she was into I'm Stefan Tobias. This is the Star Wars. And thank you, guys. Woo!